Welcome back to uh, March West Junction Term D and today we're going to do a little layout update with some of the details that I've added in and around the engine shed. As you can see on the layout as well I've got a bit of BR Blue going on. So throw back to the 70s, early 80s. So uh, I hope you enjoy. Please feel free to leave any comments and suggestions at the bottom of the video. Thank you. Okay, to start off with, uh, we've got these uh, parking ticket dispensers. Uh, these are off a company on uh, eBay and they're called model structures for model railways and I think they were about three or four pounds for two. I've got one just positioned there and in the next parking bay I've done the same again. They're quite well detailed. There's a, a sticky printed label on the front of, uh, of them with all the detail on and uh, the actual unit itself is uh, 3D printed. Okay, moving on to the uh, engine shed. Uh, some of the detail I've added here, if you look on the actual benches, there's some hand tools inside the uh, actual depot. And uh, these are cast metal. And I've, if you look further deep inside the depot, I've got the engine moved into there. Uh, I've put it on some sleepers. And I have got some more stuff coming to detail uh, the depot. And I'm waiting for them to come from uh, West Hill Wagon Works. And there's going to be some steps coming and some more racking and things like that to put inside the actual depot. So uh, hopefully that'll uh, be it then. That's all I'll need inside there just to improve the look of it. But it is coming on really well. Okay, uh, moving on to an issue that I need some help with. I've got a Hornby Class 31 here, 31268. And uh, believe it or not, this is at full power. As you can see, it's just edging forward a little bit and humming. So uh, you guys out there, if you've got any ideas what the issue is with it, I mean, it's obviously getting power. The lights are on, uh, on both ends. But the issue I've got is, uh, as you can see, it just don't want to run. It's something holding it back. Uh, if you've got, I'm not very good with motors and things like that. So if anybody's got any ideas what this could be, uh, please add a comment at the bottom just to help me out with this. I'd really appreciate it.
Some other detail that I've added to the layout this uh, month is this little tr uh, network rail trolley. Uh, it's a 3D printed model, again off eBay. I can't remember who the person was that was selling them, but they print them off uh, without the handles on uh, in like a, a grey colour. So what I've done, I've sprayed it up with some Halfords grey primer and then masked it off and painted the rest in yellow, which is the Humbral uh, yellow that you get in the spray can. Nice little model. I think it was only like uh, three quid or something like that, or four quid again. Uh, just something different to add to the layout. And it fits in quite well with this scene that I've uh, created just at the, on the corner of the layout with the reconnection of the uh, junction. Okay, that brings me to the end of this uh, update for this month. I will be bringing another one out soon with some new locos that I had for my birthday, which was in February. There's a couple of Class 66s, and uh, I had a Class 31, but I'd had it on a video previously, so I probably won't show that again. And uh, hopefully the West Hill Wagon Works items will have come by then. So uh, I can add them to the layout and I'll uh, do an update with that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, small video. Uh, if you have, please don't forget to hit the uh, like button. And uh, if you feel that one of your friends or colleagues would be interested in this video, please uh, hit the share button. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell and uh, for notifications on all my new videos that will be coming out soon. So once again, thanks very much for watching and uh, please stay safe. Bye for now.